All right, guys. So we are back with another round of house updates. Um, let's try, sorry for the, uh, my computer is dying, so I have my plug in. That's really awkward in the background right there. Anyway, so last time we talked, a um, lot of craziness happening with the house. Sewage lines were collapsed, all that stuff. Terrible, took a tree down. Um, I recorded them chopping a tree down, and now the house, the backyard, had a massive, like, stump in it. They grounded it out, so all that dirt was, like, raised up. Nothing was even. So uh, we needed to flatten it out, and we needed to make the backyard um, look better. So this is what ended up happening um, a couple of days later. So we ended up grading away from the house and getting some river rock and relaying these ugly bricks which will be swapped out to these bricks which are on the other side of the house. So along with all the craziness of going on with the house, we transitioned from having a lot of plants to hitting a massive setback that uh, we were very blessed to have our insurance help us out. Um, help us out with the garage still a mess it houses the cars fine that's doing its job it's huge it's doing everything right garden we'll call that stage one done the second stage of stuff that you guys saw was us prepping for the stone okay and then there is another third stage after that that I will show you now so how to lay stone in 12 seconds. You gotta put this water barrier up, you gotta put this wire mesh down, that is a pain in the tail, and then you take 2,000 roofing nails and you pound it in to the wood siding of your house. After that, you gotta take a mortar mixture of sand, water, and cement, turn it into this stuff, and then you have to slap it to hold onto that wire mesh to then mount stone to. So after the mortar is up, you then take more wet mortar, put it on the back of each individual stone, put it on the mortar, let it set, and then you let it chill there. It'll harden within six hours. You then have to come back and do something that's called striking it, and that is what it looks like when it is completed. 